You know, ladies and gentlemen, when the WHA was first formed, there was literally hundreds of players that were smired in the minor leagues who didn't get into the expansion of the NHL of the late 60s, early 70s, but with the WHA, they finally had their chance at the major leagues in the other major league or the other league. Now, this guy, to me, was one of the most interesting cats out there. Uh, played 27 years as a pro, but... Uh, from all the way from Anfield, Quebec, to playing with Gordy Howe, that's uh, quite an accomplishment. So today we're going to pay tribute and uh, salute the great, great Kiki or Keke Mortensen. Now Kiki, uh, that's how I pronounce it, born March 29, 1934, in Anfield, Quebec, uh, played almost three decades in pro hockey. Uh, he had 73 full games in the WHA for the Houston Arrows, and he played with them. Uh, when he had Gordy Howe, of course. But Mortson's hockey career spanned 27 years, which including playing over 1,000 games in minor league hockey and 576 games in the AHL. Mortensen was also possibly inducted into the great North Bay Hall of Fame, uh, Sports Hall of Fame, in 1996. Now, he played in his first semi-pro season 52-53 with the New Haven the Nutmegs. After briefly returning to junior hockey, he finished the 1954 season playing his first three pro games with the Cleveland Barons. His first complete uh, pro season was in 54-55 with the Troy Bruins in the IHL, scoring 25 goals. The Bruins pl also played in the Turner Cup Finals, losing in seven games. He then returned to Canada, playing four seasons of senior hockey before getting another chance to play major pro or like I said, the uh, higher level pro. The NHL established the Eastern Professional Hockey League in 59, and Mortensen joined the Sudbury Wolves team. Sudbury finished first place in 1960, and were runners-up for the Tom Foley Memorial Trophy in the playoffs. He played two and a half seasons in the EPHL with Sudbury, and still had the fourth most assists, and eight most points in the history of the four-year league. Mortensen moved up to the Hershey Bears partway through the 61-62 season as a 6'1", 210-pound forward scored 32 goals in the 63 campaign as Hershey reached the Calder Cup Finals. However, they lost in Game 7. Mortensen moved, moved, then moved closer to home and played four full seasons with the Quebec Aces. He scored a personal best 33 goals in the 66 campaign finishing second in the league with 96 points and was uh, named an AHL second team all-star. Now Mortensen was recruited by Murray Costello to move west in 67 and joined the very popular Seattle Totems. At age 34, he played in all 72 games that regular season and in the playoffs won his first title as a player, winning the Lester Patrick Cup as Seattle won the WHL title. Now, Mortensen then returned to the AHL for the 69 season with the Baltimore Clippers, but partway through the next season, he went back to the WHL with the Vancouver Canucks. In the 1978 playoffs, the Canucks won the Lester Patrick Cup, giving Mortensen his second well-deserved uh, title uh, championship. Now, Mortensen would end up playing with a different team each season for the remainder of his career. He played with the Rochester Americans in the AHL for 71, then the Dallas Block, uh, Block, uh, Blackhawks later that season. Now, uh, playing with Dallas, his team uh, reached the Adams Cups Finals in the CHL, but lost in six games. Mortensen, who was now 37, returned to the AHL in the 72 uh, season and was named the captain of Cincinnati Swords. His team plays third in the regular season, only one point out of first place, and reached the second round of the playoffs. Now, when the WHA was founded in 72, and Mortensen aged 38, he finally made his major league uh, debut with Houston Arrows. In the 73 season, he played 67 games that campaign with 13 goals as is the oldest player on the team, which is saying a lot because Gordy Howe hadn't arrived yet. Now, the Southern Hockey League, which was founded in 73, uh, came calling next, and Mortensen played for the Macon Whoopies. While playing, he also uh, was uh, hired to be the team's head coach and GM. Now, Mortensen hired because he was a favorite player of t team order Jerry Pinkerton uh, when uh, Mortensen played in Hershey. Mortensen used his WHA connections to establish affiliation agreements with both the Houston Arrows and Cleveland Crusaders. Mortensen was that team's leading scorer with 24 goals and 51 assists in 59 games, and also the first hockey player to wear the number 99. When the Whoopies folded in February due to financial issues, uh, Mortensen had uh, led the team to 22 wins in 62 games. 
Mortensen finished the remainder of the 74 season with the Jacksonville Barons and was named team captain. A little correction, by the way, he was not the first player to wear 99. I think he was the first minor hockey league player to wear 99 because uh, 99 was worn in front of by the Montreal Canadiens many, many years ago. Now, after taking a year off at age 42, Mortensen played 16 games, including playoffs, for the Buffalo Norsemen of the NEHL. Uh, Mortensen then returned briefly for two years later uh, with the year, uh, Houston Arrows as a late season replacement with the Gordie Howe Arrows, playing six games during the season. Uh, and he skated in his last uh, playoff at age 44. Now, Mortensen was born in Anfield, Quebec, which is now part of Rouen Noranda. After his pro career ended, he retired in North Bay and played uh, old timers hockey and, and also baseball. He was later a baseball umpire and in 1985 coached the North Bay team to the Ontario Baseball Association midget title. He died unfortunately in 1995 and was possibly inducted into the North Bay Sports Hall of Fame in 1996. So rough stats, ladies and gentlemen, quite, uh, uh, quite, uh, quite interesting. And just look over it very quickly here. Uh, uh, AHL uh, totals, uh, six, 576 games, 203 goals, 400 assists for 603 points, 53 uh, points in 61 playoff games, including 19 goals. EPHL, 68 goals in 164 games, 199 points, 9 points in 14 playoff games. WHL, 16 goals, 33 assists, 49 points in 127 contests, with uh, 1 goal and 3 assists for 4 points in the playoffs. And the WHA, of course, 30 points in the regular season, 13 goals and 4 assists in the playoffs. So, uh, uh, a grand total, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, stands up when you're, you're dealing with... Uh, 27 year year career with again uh, uh, around a thousand games played is just tremendous. So K Kiki Mortson, uh, what a what an athlete, what a developer, what a coach. The only thing he, I think he should have tried, someone should have tried to bring him to the NHL because I would have gladly thought that he would have been a big factor. You know, like um, uh, someone off the bench. Uh, by the way, my apologies. Uh, some some locations had him six one two ten, but uh, I'm just double checking my stats here. Six feet one seventy five. Either way, he was a tough center right wing, and I do remember him in the Quebec Aces because there was some kind of uh, incident involving a fan that Kiki kind of um, uh, what do you call uh, stopped. And I, to my memory, there was somebody that was heckling one of the players, and Kiki basically said, we're here to play, not to fight with the fans. That was uh, published in the Montreal Gazette that I read many years ago. Maybe somebody can confirm that. So, But a very a very well-liked and a very well-respected player. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you're doing with our WHA uh, podcast, our vintage uh, look at the league, please let us know with a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, requests are always appreciated and are always considered. And as Kiki Mortson probably said or didn't say, with the WHA, the EPHL, the WHL, and the AHL, and the IHL, you better keep your stick on the ice. Thanks for listening, and the NEHL. Bye.